in this particular part we will be discussing about setting up an environment to perform our practicals to perform practicals we need two things one is power iso basically it is a mounting tool which we we are going to use to create a virtual drive a virtual cd drive on that virtual cd drive we are going to insert our operating system cd or we can say we have created an image file of our operating system so with the help of this type of a mounting device uh, it is only possible to install an operating system on virtual machine so the very first requirement to perform our practical is power iso so let's just see how to download it just go and google power iso the very first link just click on that link only uh, remember basically we don't need to download uh, this particular software from any other uh, websites basically well, uh, this particular power iso's official website itself provides the same software for free of cost if you need to uh, perform some uh, if you want to do some other operations then you need to purchase a license for the same otherwise just for uh, simple things what we are going to perform or uh, the requirement which are the requirement for our practicals for those things we don't need to purchase or we don't need to crack uh, this particular software so basically we are just going to download it from its official side only as you can see it is a power iso official site now they have provided two version for the same as you can see uh, download power iso this is the latest version uh, as i am creating video now so uh, as per this uh, this is the latest version if you are uh, if you are watching this particular video in a the future then uh, it might be uh, uh, some other version here so what we need to do we just need to more emphasize on this two part that is whether our operating system is of 32 bits or 64 bits if it is of a 32 bits then we need to download this particular part and if it is of a 64 bit then we need to download this particular part so just remember this thing so how to check uh, your operating systems so just go to my computer or uh, in windows 8 and windows 10 you will find this pc so just right click on it go to properties so once we click on a property it gives us a window or uh, information about our system so as you can see we have a system uh, basically in my computer I have uh, Windows 10 and uh, this particular operating system is of 32 bits so as you can see my operating system is of a 32 bit and hence I'm going to download the same version here that is of a 32 bit just click on it and download will start it is very sim uh, small software so you don't need to work uh, much and uh, it basically gives you some other options like uh, it promote some of the search engine uh, search managers so you can directly skip if you want just i'm clicking on a skip and the same way if they are asking about some other requirements uh, here also i don't require or we don't require this particular thing so you can skip this particular part as well and as soon as we cl uh, click on a skip our download will start so as you can see our download started now here is our download Basically, I have already downloaded this particular part, so I'm not going to again download the same. So I'll just cancel this download. And now the second requirement or second software which is required for uh, to perform our practical is Oracle Virtual Box. Remember, uh, we'll, we are going to uh, perform practical on both type of virtual machine. One is Oracle Virtual Box and second is on Microsoft VMware. So first I'll show you how to install operating system on VirtualBox and then uh, in future lecture I'll again discuss how to install the same operating system on VMware and how to perform practical there as well. So you just need to google this much Oracle VirtualBox download. Here also you will find an official link or official website of Oracle VirtualBox. We just need to go to that particular part. As you can see uh, here they have uh, provided two uh, links basically these are the first links after advertisements these are the first very first links so as you can see uh, you can directly go to download section or you can first go to oracle uh, uh, main uh, web, web page index page and then you can uh, redirect yourself to download so i'm directly going to click on this particular download part so as soon as we click on this you'll find different options there So basically, Oracle VirtualBox is uh, 
available for Linux machines as well, Unix machines as well, Apple machines as well and Windows as well. So in my computer I have Windows operating system so obviously we are going to download this particular part only. So it is very first part and as you can see this particular software is free to use. Why it is free to use because it comes with GPL license. Remember GPL stands for general public license and hence we don't need to purchase any uh, uh, license or we don't need to pay any money for the same. So I'm going to click on Windows download. As you can see download started. As you can see we have multiple part if uh, if uh, previously you are not be able to uh, lo uh, just uh, have a look properly so I'll just uh, zoom it and as you can see we have four options available so based on type of operating system you are using you can download any one of this so once we are done with download we can just install this particular software now so I have now we have two particular softwares here one is Oracle virtual box and second is power ISO so one by one will install both this particular software so let's start with one that is Oracle VirtualBox double click on it it is very simple to install the same you just need to click on run as soon as we click on run installation process will be start so our installation process started as you can see here so we just need to click on next 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 that's it nothing more to uh, discuss here so just click on next here it is basically asking uh, about uh, the location where you need to install this particular part so as you can see uh, in my computer it is going to install in C, pro, uh, C drive program files in that oracle and in that it, uh, this particular software is going to create one more folder with the name virtual box then here it is asking about uh, creating a startup menu then shortcut on desktop and few other things so just click on next as soon as we click on next it gives us oh, some warning we don't care about it right now so once once this many steps are done it it is now ready for installation just so just click on install and here our installation process is started so here we are done with installing this particular part so I'll just click on finish and as soon as we click on a finish main virtual box window will appear here so as you can see this is how our oracle virtual box manager looks like so here we can install our operating system so how to ever use this particular software we'll discuss uh, now but before that we also need to install power iso so let's just uh, install power iso now so double click on this particular icon or this particular downloaded so, uh, setup it basically asks us uh, it basically required administrative permission that is what that sound all about so now in this particular uh, installation as you can see you just need to click on agree that means you are accepting the agreement we don't need this particular search engine so you just uh, you can just dislike this particular part and just click on the required software which is uh, I mean uh, only we are going to install uh, the software which is required for our practical nothing else we required so just click on next as you can see here also it is going to uh, uh, provide you the location where the power ISO is going to be installed so it uh, in my computer it is going to be installed in C drive program files power ISO how many space it is required 13 MB only not uh, well much amount is required so here our installation is started once it done installing its software then before completing the process we need to follow some steps remember don't click on finish before we follow some steps that is the most important part so as soon as we done installing this particular part so as you can see I'm done installing this particular part now just click on next as soon as we click on next you'll find such type of window where it uh, basically provide you many different uh, extensions so just select all so that uh, whichever type of if any of this type of file appears in your computer power ISO will automatically recognize that particular file select all and one more thing 
we are going to create one virtual drive here like we have one physical cd rom or cd drive in our computer the same way we are going to create virtual drive now when we ins uh, when we insert one virtual cd virtual operating cd on that particular drive then many time it might happens that that particular cd automatically gets unmounted from that particular drive so for that reason we have to keep that cd there only so we'll click on auto mount on boot up so whenever your computer starts whichever cd you have mounted or whichever cd you have inserted virtual cd whichever virtual cd we have you have inserted on that particular virtual drive will be automatically mounted again means that particular drive will be again occupied with that particular virtual cd and here you will find many drives you can create multiple drives as you can see maximum 23 virtual cd drives you can create but for our uh, practical we just need one so just click on one and close it now one more thing uh, power iso needs to uh, before before we start uh, using power iso you need to restart your computer then only power iso will uh, start functioning properly so remember we need to restart our computer so now i'll just restart my computer and then we'll perform other practicals